Welcome to the Nice of the North. I'm in Scarborough today and I'm here with another YouTuber, Mr. Wandering Turnip. Yorkshire meets Birmingham. It's the face off. We're going to see who survives this gritty northeastern seaside town. You should check out Wandering Turnip's YouTube channel. He does some awesome content around Britain, specifically in the north. And uh, yeah, we're going to check out this once grand seaside town that many viewers have told me has seen better days and it suffers from some problems so we're going to take to the streets i'm going to get wandering turnip to come around with me and we're going to see if we can find out what life is really like for the people that live in scarborough let's go good i'll do it whose balls is big kick look at that roberto carlos I'm making a video about Scarborough. I'll go all around the country. I won't bother. Showing. Don't bother. Okay. Don't bother. Just leave straight away. Not yeah. fucking There's worth it. Not worth it. There's yeah. always a story though everywhere. <laughs> like, so, so you don't you don't think much of Scarborough at the moment? No. No, we never, no, I don't. What's wrong with the town? What? It's going downhill. Life in Scarborough in 2023 um, is pretty damn nasty, horrible, the judgmental, the horrible, the s***s, <laughs> the and I know you're not going to post that bit. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. It can be okay. It can be okay. But... What are the problems? What are the problems with the town? People think it's this great holiday town. Um, but until you actually live here, it's not. There's so many murders, violence, abuse that goes up, it's unreal. Move to a quiet village, come here for the day, or maybe a holiday or something, but for God's sakes, do not live here, because I'm trying my best to move out of this town. Okay. Worst thing I did was move to this town, okay. and now I want back out of it. What's Scarborough like these days? I've heard that it used to be really grand, yeah. and now it's not. Not as busy. <laughs> not as busy? No, what's it like to live in? A bit shit. A bit shit? Yeah. When you've lived here all your life, you find it boring. Boring? Yeah. And what, what lack of things are there to do? Why is it boring? Well, I do, isn't it? Say if you, you look like some new trainers on a JD. Yeah. One sports shop, isn't yeah. What Great about job opportunities, things like that? Is there much in the town? Seasonal, though. Right? Yeah, very do seasonal. Somewhere in it. So behind me is the Grand Hotel of Scarborough, out here on the famous seafront. Now the Grand Hotel's got quite an interesting and grim story about it. So in the Second World War, unfortunately, Scarborough was absolutely flattened with bombs. And strangely, the Grand Hotel was left unscathed. Everything else in town, pretty much everything else, flattened and destroyed. But the Grand Hotel stayed intact. Now the rumor goes, the legend has it, that Hitler left this building unbombed because in his mind in the eventuality that he gained control of the area that the Grand Hotel would be his command center. So we've decided to save our legs and uh, Wandering Turnips told me that the best way to do that is to catch this old-fashioned tram all the way up the hill. What's the, what's the brief history of that beautiful tram? This funicular railway came about in 1881 after a gentleman who lived in that house over there, that big red house there, called Henry Woodall Woodall, thought it was a good idea. This was all his gardens and stuff, and he thought it was a good idea to build a funicular railway here to capture all the Victorian ladies and gentlemen who were walking up and down the step. That's how it started. It started off as a, a you know, his private funicular and then it became public in, in terms of paying public. It was a, an old Victorian penny when it first opened. The famous Grand Hotel, just there in front of us, which in its heyday was one of the most beautiful and lavish hotels in all of Britain. Now apparently it's not what it was. It's, uh, it's got some really bad reviews of recent times, but we're gonna go in. We're gonna see how much of a little film of the, I imagine it's a remarkable interior. Look at the fascia. Look at this absolutely epic 
interior of a grand hotel. Modelled by Mr. Wandering Turner. It's actually mental to me to, like, this is a really lowly reviewed rated hotel yeah, now. It's yeah. run by, I think it's run by Britannia Hotels, who haven't got the best reputation in the UK. Yeah. You can get a room here for like 40 quid a night. Yeah. I looked on Booking.com yeah, yeah, before I came. It's mad, isn't it? 40 quid a night, folks, and you can stay with this epic architecture. So it's got 12 floors, which represent 12 months of the year. It's got 52 chimneys for the weeks of the year, four pits, turrets on the top representing the seasons, and when it opened, it had 365 days, rooms representing the days. It was all done about the placement of time and how this, they thought this would be the biggest thing ever, and, uh, and then it, it was for a bit. Then. It's still the biggest thing I mean, in still, Scarborough. Yeah. still the biggest thing in Scarborough, but unfortunately it lost its grandeur, hasn't it? I can't believe in this country that we let these amazing hotels end up as sorry as this has ended up. Look at how epic of a grand ballroom is here. Think of all the lavish parties that were hosted here back in the day when this was an exclusive and sought after hotel. Today, it's pretty sad. It's pretty uh, dishevelled, not cleaned up. All what's it's on the floor, crisp packets. But the history is just sitting here and you can come and stay here for 40 quid a night. Play us a tune, mate. Oh yeah. You're a multi-talented man. I came from Rotherham, South Yorkshire, ten years ago to build a new life when I lost my son, love. Oh dear. And my daughter got murdered in a tent up there, darling. Yeah. And I can't prove nothing. No. And the police won't help me. Yeah. I couldn't identify body, love, because she'd been dead for three days in a tent, sweetheart. Yeah. On my life, I've been here ten years. I came with my son. And my daughter, she were murdered up there in the tent, love. They left Jesus. her buried for 10 days in a fucking tent, love, I swear down. Police won't help me. They had this guy in and they couldn't prove no. They let him go. She'd got hypothermia. That's all I can Terrible say, story. darling. And how would you explain life in Scarborough in 2023? What's uh, the mood in the town? Shit, love. Um, it's full of horrible people. I'm a good lass, me, love. But I'm broken. Yeah. Guess what's happened to me, Yeah, I darling. can imagine with the story you just told. Yeah, me. I tell truth, yeah. love. I don't give a shit about these here. I tell truth, darling. Yeah. And that's only my little bit of a journey, love. Yeah. You take care. Okay. And you, you as take well. Care. This is supposed to be the roughest neighbourhood in Scarborough. It feels... Uh, Barrow Cliff. There you go. I feel quite happy here. Yeah. I feel scared at all. I'll be honest with you, I'm from the Midlands originally and this is nice compared to where I'm from. Okay. Am I in the roughest estate in Scarborough? I think One of them. I think it's, there's, a, there's a few like there's, a, there's Barrow Cliff and there's like Eastfield but I think if you live here it's not really that rough as what nah. it seems to nah. be. You're not gonna like get beaten up or anything. It's more, there's a lot of people you know, with like alcohol and drug problems. Yeah, like everywhere these days. Yeah. yeah. But it's not like, you're not going to get like robbed or anything like no. that. No. It's the same as any other estate, really. I did read a story as well about how there was a 40 man brawl and somebody set a sofa on fire. It's in the newspaper. <laughs> I didn't, didn't, <laughs> I was it you? No, it Maybe. wasn't. Maybe. What I have just thought about, it's quite interesting to me, is the different perceptions of what people think is a rough or decaying British town, depending on where they're from in the country. So, I've come up to this seaside town in the northeast, and people have told me it's a rough place, that it's got problems, and sure, it's got a few. We saw some issues earlier, but by no means is it as dangerous, at least it doesn't feel like it, walking around the streets here in Barrowcliff as it is walking around in certain neighborhoods in Birmingham and the Midlands, let alone London. It's a beautiful view out to sea from this cemetery, but I've brought you to one of the weird, creepiest things about Scarborough. Underneath me right now in this vacant plot in this cemetery are the remains of the infamous Jimmy Savile. I'm literally standing right now where his headstone was. He was buried in a gold casket 
at 45 degrees so that he could face out and see the sea. When all the truth came out just after he died, the people that run the cemetery, they immediately dismantled and smashed up his headstone out of respect for all the other people. And uh, it's pretty weird to be standing exactly in the spot where this notorious resident of this cemetery is. For those of you who are from abroad and you don't know who he is, just Google the name and the story will tell itself. And here on the corner, opposite the Esplanade Hotel, with another beautiful view overlooking Scarborough, the former flat of the monster Jimmy Savile. On the second floor there with the weird samurai statue, that's the residence that Savile used to come and use when he was in Scarborough, he used to come and spend a lot of time in this town. It's also the residence where, if any of you have ever watched the really famous Louis Theroux documentary, they stand on the balcony there and talk and um, spend a lot of time talking in the flat there. I wonder if the people that own that residence now that live in it, I wonder if they're aware of the heinous stories that are attached to it. How would you sum up Scarborough in a couple of sentences in 2023? Ooh, well, it's kind of a decaying seaside town. It's had its best from the past, and some of it's dilapidated, but it's still got its wonderful beauty spots like the castle. It's got the beach, obviously. They've just revamped the town centre. They repaved this recently. How so long ago did they do that? Oh, it was before the COVID. It was yeah. bright orange when they put so it like down. So like four or five years ago, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. <laughs> so there you go, folks. A day out in the nice of the north with Wandering Turnip. What do you think about Scarborough, mate? Yeah, I mean, I've uh, been to a lot of seaside towns and it's definitely not as bad as... A, I thought it would be, or other ones that I've been to in the north of England. Like, I mean, it's been well nice today and the beach has been buzzing. Um, yeah, it's been sound. It's been a pleasant surprise. I was told by quite a few people that have commented on the channel, go to Scarborough. You know, it's an absolute mess up there. The town has got all sorts of problems, for sure. We've encountered some problems, some of the issues that, to be honest, we encounter everywhere as we go around the UK. But it's not as bad as... Some of the places I've been to on the south coast in the southwest. Yeah, and we have been looking for it as well. We've really trekked and gone, right, where are these areas that are going to be bad? And gone to them. And it's been, yeah, it's been fine. Yeah, it's been we, well nice. I mean, look at it. It's fucking well nice. It's nice, man. We, we went to the supposedly roughest neighbourhood in Scarborough. And it wasn't anywhere near as bad as the rough areas of where I'm from in the Midlands. Yeah. So, yeah. Not a bad day out in the Good yeah. for Scarborough, yeah. I've got yeah. to say, it's positive. Yeah, you guys don't know how good you've got it up in the northeast. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining me. No, mate, it's been great, man. On yeah. this little wander, yeah. Hopefully, we'll make some content together yeah, again soon. Yeah, get down you down south. the southwest. I'd like to get down there and uh, yeah, get out of the north and see down there. Be good, man. Check out Wandering Turnips' channel. There's some really awesome content on there. Thank some you. really cool stuff, especially about the north. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you'll see him again in one of the videos. Until next time, folks. Right on.